Uh, hello everyone, this video is made to show you how to replace the original housing on the Fluval Edge which looks like this. As you can see I have the, uh, I've upgraded the light bulbs already but as you can see the moisture is actually doing damage to them therefore I will be upgrading it to the you know the one that's new and um, uh, it's also lead one which I have here and I bought it I just bought it um, in my local aquarium store and I'll just show you how this works so as you can see this is the replacement part made by Fluval obviously that's the original part it's just upgraded and the difference is huge as you can see there's a lot of leads over there it's waterproof sealed and there's like sort of a transparent plastic cap on it uh, which prevents moisture from getting into the actual LED lights therefore protecting them I hope so in this video I'm going to show you how to replace this old one which I have here which looks a little nasty already with a new one which I've just shown you a second ago so before you start doing anything else obviously make sure that all the um, electricity is switched off and just there we go just to show you that I'm really concerned about health and safety and let's get to, um, to actually the part in which I'm going to show you how to replace I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of dark here but down there on the bottom of that arm here there is a little screw which needs to be taken out and on the other side there's a little cable there I'll just pull it up a little there's another one the whole process is supposed to be very simple it's pretty much plug and play as long as they have it screw unscrewed and um, everything should just slide out easily we'll see how it works So that's one of these bad boys out. And now the other one. You probably have the wrong screw screwdriver, it should be a little smaller tip, but like this is the only one I have, so like if you don't what you like, you like what you have. So let's see how this works okay okay so the screws are falling off but luckily they're going to be stored in the little compartment down there so nothing's going to happen to it and I'll install this plug and play, it's not ready. You no, know, listen, I'll switch it off and I'll come back. And right, so I'm back and what happens is there's actually four screws instead of two. There's additional two here, right in the middle of the housing, of the arm of the housing. So let's give it a go. So we're gonna try to unscrew these as well. And if we need both hands, so I'll switch it off and I'll come back and so everyone I have the other one out so the trick is there's actually a second set of screws here in the middle they need to be loosened as well and then once it's done you can actually lift like spread this part here and this is where it's being held with the actual housing on the other side so I have this down and this is a good moment to show you that this is the new set 
comes with the uh, plug and play kind of setup and a new sort of charger AC adapter whatever it is which is pretty much plug and play that's very handy and um, so I'll give it a shot now I'll mount the new one I'll install the new one and we'll see how it works uh, once it's done so everyone I have the uh, the new lights installed already I have new set of screws over there I don't know if you can see that because it's very dark maybe not but like there's one here one over there and similar setup on the other side so it's pretty much plug and play as long as you unscrew the four of them and then you just uh, uh, you know do the same thing when you're putting back the new light on so let's see how the result is going to look like like what I've noticed it's a little lower than the other uh, than the other one I'm probably going to create some sort of a maybe an old gasket or something I'm going to glue it here so it leaves, it leaves a little bit more room here um, it falls a little deeper than the other one but let's see how it looks oh yeah. it looks pretty good I must say the only concern is the light color I would say it's actually cold um, the tropical fish I don't know if they like cold light or not but like it has it also has the blue ones I don't know if you're going to be able to see that when I open it but there's one blue one blue here in the middle and the third blue here so it has a set of three blue LEDs as well as the white ones it has two settings first one has all the lights on the middle setting is off and this is the uh, I'd say it's a night mode so the night mode leaves only the blue ones on it's pretty neat I must say it looks pretty good um, and I hope the fish are gonna like it um, so I hope you enjoyed the video um, I hope I explained how to replace it and um, you're not gonna have any trouble when trying to do it on your own thanks very much thanks for watching subscribe like and um, bye bye